there something behind me? No, I just look really pretty today. Progress report, Madam Secretary? Oh, campaign manager. I'm your campaign Whatever. manager. Whatever, am I winning? Well, it's a student body election, so it's not like we have tracking polls or... I'll just show you the new campaign posters that I made. Ooh. Hashtag lame. How about something along the lines of vote Megan? A hot body for the student body. Ooh, speaking of hot, help me pick out a dress to wear for the candidates assembly. Uh, maybe we should talk a little bit about the issues. Issues? It's a popularity contest. And if Rachel Jimenez shows up better dressed than me, the only issue we're gonna have is suicide. Mom. Where is Rachel anyway? Hmm, good question. I haven't seen her in home for almost a week now. <gasps> Mysterious disappearance in the middle of the semester? It's time to play! Oh, no. Pregnant or deported? I'll check Facebook for suspicious activity. Megan, our school is 40% Latino. If you want to win this election, you gotta stop playing this game. Jeez, Annie, I was just joking. Hashtag oversensitive. How's this look? Oh, perfect. It's perfect. What is she doing here? She is assisting Annie by forging her dad's signature on the driver's permit application she could have gotten a year ago. Apparently, Mr. Chan thinks that his darling daughter should be kept in a protective bubble until she's <laughs> old enough to join the AARP. I swear I never understand a thing you say. That's because you read it at third grade level. Uh, -huh. uh Megan, DMV, ACP. BRB, bitches! <laughs> Wait, why is Megan taking you to the DMV instead of Ethan? Uh, because Ethan has practice. Hey, Annie. Hey, we were just talking about you. How's lacrosse practice? Boring, just like everything else about you? Uh, I was just on a water break. I just have a minute, but uh, pop quiz, hand signals, left turn, right turn, slow down. Oh, perfect. <laughs> it also makes a pretty good dance move. <laughs> hey, good luck and call me when you're done, okay? Okay, I will. Thank you for remembering. See? Isn't he sweet for remembering? Whoop de doo, we can set a reminder on his phone. <laughs> just get out and ring the doorbell. You're causing noise pollution. Who are you? Every time you open your face hole. Okay, I better go before the hair pulling starts. Mwah. <laughs> Oh, uh, bug flew in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs>
back to Mexico. <laughs> Bitch, that's racist. My family's been here since 1923, and our favorite food is apple what, pie. What, you think just because we're brown, we're all here illegally? <laughs> yeah, Annie, that's so racist. No, <laughs> no, you don't understand. Can you explain it, why don't you? I just need advice. You see, my friend, um, she just found out that she's been an illegal immigrant her whole life, and she's feeling a bit lost. Wow, seriously. Yeah, and she's really stressed about it. And obviously, I don't know anything about it, so I was just looking for someone for her to talk to. <laughs> so you called us because we must all be experts on it's illegal people immigrants. people like you who that's ruin this country. racial profiling. Look it up because yeah. that's what you're doing. I'm more American Thanks. than you are anyway. No, this is not 1-800-IMMIGRANTS. This is not so a hotline. Fun. Hey, Annie. Hey. I'm um, just calling to say goodnight. I feel like wiped out. Yeah, it's been a blah day. Hmm. Well, you want to talk about it? I do. But maybe not tonight. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Just whenever you're ready. That's what I'm here for. Oh, someone's calling me. Uh, it's probably Jen. Or worse, Megan. <laughs> um, better take it. Just sleep tight and feel better. Okay? Hey, Annie. Um, long time no talk. Hey, Nick. Look, I, I'm really sorry about what happened earlier with Veronica. Oh, and whole... don't worry about it. Um, listen, I think I might be able to help your friend. Oh, um... I see. What what kind of help were you offering her? Oh, I mean, you tell me. What kind of help do you need? It, it's not me. It's actually for my friend. She's the one that. Uh, listen, Annie. We can be completely honest with each other. All right. Um, I'll go first. I know how to get by without papers. I'm undocumented too. Well, can I see it? Later. You told her? What else does she know? Relax, Jen's my best friend. She wouldn't tell anyone. As far as I'm concerned, both of your families came over on the Mayflower. Now let me see your fake ID already. It looks like it's made out of cardboard. And why is there an umlaut in Arizona? Because next cousin sent us to the worst fake ID guy in the city. Hey, get what you pay for. I paid a hundred bucks for this. Which is pretty good for fake ID. All right, now most cash jobs are only gonna want a driver's license photocopy, but everywhere else wants your social. Except Annie wants to use this as a real driver's license. Well, what do you need a real license for? So I can drive my friends to spring fling, so I can do all the stuff that a normal teenager gets to okay. do. Annie, uh, I'm here to teach you undocumented 101, basic survival. You're talking about going anywhere and doing anything. It's not really an option for us anymore. Especially not in Arizona. Okay, but why are you sticking your nose in this anyway? She has a boyfriend. I know, I'm just... I don't know, I'm trying to show her the ropes, I guess. I owe her. For what? She beat up a bully for me in third grade. Oh, yeah. Seriously? I swear, you've become infinitely more interesting the past couple of weeks. Here, let me call my cousin. He might know another guy. He might be able to do something better for cheaper, all right? So, what other skeletons are you hiding in your closet? You've never killed anyone, have you? Oh, Ethan's calling. Hold on. Hey. Hey. What's up? You're avoiding me. No, I, I'm not. I've just been... Busy? Uh, yeah, you've been busy a lot lately these days. Just tell me what's going on already. Hey, Annie. What are you doing now? Ethan and I are biolab partners. Didn't he mention? No, he didn't. I, I was gonna tell you, but I can't seem to get a hold of you lately. Ooh, hashtag trouble in paradise! Don't be jelly, Annie. We're just hanging out. Kind of like you and Nick Ramirez today at the mall. You went out with Nick Ramirez? No, we didn't go out, go out. We were just like... Hey, uh, do you have hand towels or is this like an Asian thing? Guess this is why you don't feel like talking lately. No, this is not what it looks like. E <sighs> now what happened? Ethan just saw Nick standing there holding my bra. Put that down! Take a deep yeah. breath, Annie. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. You're scared to tell Ethan the truth, and this throws him off the scent. Wait, you haven't told your boyfriend yet? No, I told you. You and Jen are the only ones who know about my situation. Wow, it seems like a pretty big secret to keep from the guy you love. Okay, we haven't dropped the L-bomb yet. You know, can you please just get out of here so that I can fix this? Well, we gotta talk about the fake ID. Out! Ideas. Now, please! Okay, then. Yeah? Nick's just an old friend, okay? He's just helping me with something. 
Really? What? I don't like being kept in the dark about this, Annie. If, if you're cheating on me, just admit it. No, I'm not. Then what is going on with you? I can't tell you. Why the hell not? Because I don't want to drag you into it. Okay, that's not your choice to make, Annie. We are together. That means I want to know everything about you, no matter how bad it is. Okay? Now, are you going to tell me what's going on or not? Sad sack, residents. Nick, you're there. Again. Yeah, I felt bad about the whole fake ID thing. Now that I realize why she wants it, I'm gonna try to get her to apply for deferred action. It would give her legal status, sort of. I mean, she still wouldn't be able to get financial aid for colleges, she'd have to reapply for it every two years, and her parents could still get deported. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. She's not in the mood for this, Nick. Her and Ethan haven't spoken in three days. Yeah, ever since I told them the truth. This is all your fault. Kind of a major secret you gave from someone you love. Durr. Durr? I mean, I'm illegal, not illiterate. Oh. Yeah, there are gonna be some people that are gonna judge you for this, Annie. I mean, you know, if, if Ethan can't deal with this, then... Ethan! Hide! Should I wait, or...? Hey. Hi, Millie. Where have you been? Thinking. You're at home, right? Yeah, why? We need to talk. I'll be there in a minute. Wait, talk about what? What did he say? He's breaking up with me. I think he is coming over here to break up with me. Ow. This is your fault. Get out. My, the papers, please. Out, out, out. What do we do? What do we do? Open your closet. Okay. Um, short magenta dress, the one that hugs your body, put it on. Why? To make him regret what he's giving up. You have foundation, right? No, damn it, there's no time. Just Put on some mascara and, and some lip gloss. And spray some perfume. And tussle your hair too. Hurry! He's here. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Wait, stay on the call with me? I'm not going anywhere. Just calm down. Don't show him that you're freaking out because then he wins. Come in. Hey. You look really nice. Um, okay, uh, can, can I speak to Annie in private? No. Uh, please? Uh, whatever you're gonna say to Annie, you can say in front of me, right? Right, so just spit it out. Okay, it's just, it's just gonna be way more awkward. <sighs> Annie Chan, will you marry me? What? <laughs>